Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zalaski. Michelle McCormack is on assignment tonight, and we begin with the missing three-year-old Elijah Vu, who went missing in Two Rivers three months ago today. Local 5's Timothy Leto has the details on what police are saying about both the search and the investigation. Toys are meant to be given on birthdays and holidays. It's been a challenge. But in Two Rivers, the soaked stuffed animals and dripping dinosaurs are a somber reminder of three-year-old Elijah Vu, who went missing three months ago. We will find them. It's just when we don't know. Police say that they never thought that the search would take over three months, but they are optimistic that they will find Elijah one day. I'd say we're still optimistic that we're going to find him. Uh, obviously, we're frustrated. Uh, we didn't think it would be three months in and we'd still be here. The toddler is nowhere to be found while his mother, Katrina Bauer, and her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, are in jail on child neglect charges and awaiting trial. Everybody wants closure. We want to know what happened to Elijah. Uh, we want to bring closure to it uh, for his family's sake um, and to, uh, as the chief had said before, to bring him home. To do that, it's taking an investigation into what led up to Elijah's disappearance and also a search for any signs of him. We have an old investigative team just working on uh, that part of the case. Uh, so there's really two parts of this. There's uh, the search element of it and there's the investigation element. The search has gone from broad to narrow in an effort to be more efficient with time and resources. In the beginning, obviously, we had multiple searches going on every day. Uh, now we are still doing searches. However, uh, they're more directed and focused. The search heads into its fourth month, but the only thing that's easy to find is the love that the community has for the missing toddler. In Two Rivers, Timothy Leto, Local 5 News. Thank you, Tim. And police say the best way you can help with the search is to be alert for any signs of that toddler when you're doing outdoor activities.